guys, it's Dan, and I know everybody else seems to be doing, like, their top least favorite books of 2020. Um, I've seen a few that are doing top five best books of 2020. Like if you guys um, really want to hear my top ten least favorite books of 2020, um, I do have at least ten books that I gave one stars to in 2020. If you really 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 want to hear what those books are and you want to hear about them then comment down below and i will i will obligate and do that for you if you must um i was kind of hoping i could use my goodreads app to do this but the goodreads app does not allow you to pull up your um your stats and all that um at least mine doesn't. But I had to write them down the old-fashioned way. I have my notebook here. And I've got my top ten favorite books. These are all books that I gave five stars to in the year of 2020. So they're in no particular I'm order. Uh, but the first one is Recursion by Blake Crouch. And I'm going to throw up the cover over here. Now, Recursion is a... Time travel, alternate reality, shenanigans, kind of sci-fi book. Um, this was my first time ever reading Blake Crouch, and I was super, super impressed. Um, this was really, really good, you guys. Um, if you have not read Recursion, you need to get out there and check that one out. Um, and as... And of course, as always, I think I have reviews of all of these books, except for maybe one or two. But yeah, you can go back, check out my playlist of my book reviews, and you can find Recursion. Um, number two is Fair Lady Volume 1. Now, this was a fantasy comic that I, I did a review of this, and it was a really a new fantastic fantasy series that just is unlike anything else I've ever read. But um, a fair lady is a woman detective set in this kind of fantasy kind of world. It was really really good, you guys. If you totally missed that review video, go check that one out. I don't know why it didn't get many views. Maybe because people were unfamiliar with the title. But it was a really good read. Uh, number three was 112263 by Stephen King. Um, if you don't know what that one's about, that one is about the JFK and the wormhole into the past. Another time travel read where this guy goes back and he tries to change the events of the JFK assassination. Now, and I, I don't know if I should mention that some of these books did not come out in 2020. They just happened to be my five-star books for 2020. Um, number four, we have A Patience of a Dead Man by Michael Clark. This, hands down, has to be my favorite haunted house or haunting story. And this one is an indie horror I really thought this one was really, really good. Um, I honestly feel like it could be a standalone. I, I know that it's a part of a trilogy. Um, but I think Mike Clark did a really good job on this first book. And I think he, he cut it down a little bit. I think he edited it down because he thought it was too big. But I really thought that it being a big book really made it that much more enjoyable in my opinion. Um, number five is A Man Called Ova by Frederick Bachman. Now, this one is about a grumpy geezer who just, like, everybody thinks he's, like, just miserable, but he's just lonely because his wife has passed on and he finds new meaning in his life through his neighbor. And it was a really, really touching story which is um they have a film adaptation of it that's slightly different than the book but both were enjoyable so check that out like i said i did a review of that one as well um now some of these are comics uh number six is house of x powers of 10 by jonathan hickman this was the debut for jonathan hickman's dawn of x storyline which kind of brought back the x-men for the marvel 
Marvel Universe. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I loved how he kind of introduced, you know, and brought back the X-Men while still trying to keep, like, some kind of hope. Like, he told, like, a future storyline kind of interwoven with that. Really great book if you are a fan of X-Men. Definitely check that one out. Um, number seven is Seeing Things by Sonora Taylor. This was a coming-of-age story about a young lady who could see ghosts. And I'll never forget there was one scene where she saw like an old mayor of the town and he flips her off. I thought that was hilarious. But this story definitely, um, it impressed me and it was not what I um, expected. Let's just say there were some moments that I did not see coming and it was really, really good, guys. Definitely check that one out, too. And that one is also an indie horror. Um, number eight, we have Bone Parish, Volume 3 by Cullen Bunn. Now, yes, this is a Volume 3, but I felt like Volume 3 just kind of like, it kind of picked up the story and kind of heightened it. And... If you're not familiar, it is a horror comic about this, um, it's called Dust or something like that. And these users, it's made from the, um, cremated individuals or dead people. And they, they can inject it or snort it like cocaine and it causes hallucinations and experiences of the person that the, the dust came from. Like, they get to experience that person's life in some way. And I thought that was a really... The culmination of the story in Volume 3 was really, really good. I think it might have won an award a Bram Stoker, too. That one, I don't think I did a review of that one because it was a Volume 3, but it's really, really worthwhile checking out. Um, number 9 is Harleen by Stepien Sejek. Um, this was a one of uh, DC's Black Label books, which means it was more mature. And this is the origin of Harley Quinn. This was so good. Not only was the story fantastic, but the artwork was beautiful. And I was so super impressed by this book. And it was like a hardcover edition that had this really cool cover. And it's really great if you guys are fans of harley quinn and the joker batman kind of stuff definitely check that one out number 10 the sundown motel by simone st james this is another one that kind of parallels with the past and the present and telling of the story of missing girls or murdered girls in this little sleepy town and this this girl finds out what happened to her aunt and what happened to the girls. And there's a supernatural twist attached to that. This was another one that I did not expect or anticipate that happening. Um, really, really great read. And I have an honorable mention. I had to mention um, this extra one. Just because I feel like it was so worthwhile... Um, Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge is a book about this pumpkin-headed creature that these teenage boys are forced to track down and try to murder it before midnight, before it reaches the, the center of the town and the church. And they think they're going to be rewarded, but there's really something else going on. That one was another really, really good book, and I did do a review of that one as well. And like I said, I kind of went over 10. There are 11 of them. That's why I did the honorable mention. And Dark Harvest is one of the older books. So that's why I gave that one an honorable mention. But those are my top 10 plus one <laughs> favorite books. My five star books for 2020. Now if you really want to hear what books I gave a one star rating to... Go ahead and comment down below if you really want to hear that. I'm kind of hoping and thinking that maybe you guys are not going to request that. But if you do, I will obligate and I will I will film that. Um, I'm not going to have links for all of these books. If you want to pick them up, if you really want to hear more, definitely look at my book review playlist so you can see the reviews individually. Um, all with the exception of 
Bone Parish Volume 3. I don't think I did a review of that one, like I said. But yeah, um, I will throw down my coffee link. If you guys don't mind buying me a coffee or two, I could use the energy and the motivation. If you have not subscribed and you're looking for book reviews and book recommendations, you want to see what's coming up in 2021, hit that subscriber button. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. This has been Dan. You have been you. It has been one hell of a year. Let's hope 2021 is better. So stay healthy and be good to each other.